Hello students, myself, Dr. Divya Ghildiyal, continuing with my unit 5 of AKTU Energy Science and Engineering paper for BTEC second year students. I have already discussed with you in my previous lecture, climate change, green energy, green building architecture concept, the various sources of storage devices, and the energy scenario as per the current uh, world energy changes. Now I will discuss energy audit. Once again, I request you to please subscribe to my channel in order to receive a fully solved model paper before your final exams. It will reach the subscribers first. Thank you. Energy audit. What do you mean by the term audit? in English. Audit is just like an inspection or survey, like you keep giving exams on a timely basis. First, you give your first sessional, then second sessional. So, and it they are checked, they are monitored. So that way, what happens is once a green building has been set up, audit committee keeps checking whether they are following the norms that they had been mentioned or not. In case they find that it is not, norms are not being followed properly, they can even debar the building by saying that it is not following the green building architecture norms. So an energy audit is an inspection survey and an analysis of energy flow for energy conservation in a building. It may include a process or system to reduce the amount of energy input into the system without negatively affecting the output. For example, during Corona, it was very strictly being monitored whether everyone is wearing a mask or not. And if the mask was not being worn, uh, worn, visitors were not being allowed inside. So this was just a way of trying to help control the virus. Similarly, in a building, at times they do come and monitor how the waste is being recycled, whether proper dustbins are there or not, whether oxygen-loving plants have been planted or not, whether the population ratio is is being followed or not, whether people are being timely updated with environmental safety practices or not. So in commercial and real, where are they throwing their waste and how, what are they doing with their waste? So in commercial and industrially real estate and energy audit is the first step in identifying opportunities to reduce energy expense and carbon footprint. Energy audit is like an official scientific study of energy consumption of an organization, process, plant, equipment aimed at reduction of energy consumption and energy costs. Data acquisition method measurements can be familiarization with the energy inlet and outlet of energy, study of modern processes and plants being checked, formulating energy equations and softwares, analysis of energy consumption, suggest any new energy conservation process, suggest steps for being taken for reducing energy consumption without sacrificing productivity, etc. So objectives of the energy of audit are basically to, uh, uh, they are carried out in a specified time limit, keeping in mind the cost, etc. And uh, they keep a check whether by taking a general survey of the building and seeing whether it is following the green building architecture norms or not. And the details ones go in for a door-to-door -door check of uh, uh, whether every flat or every house is going ahead to follow the mentioned uh, uh, pr points or not. So overall system of it accounts for energy, like suppose water leakage, extra consumption of electricity, 
whole day running of ACs, etc. All these things are monitored on a timely basis. So they identify the energy conservation measure, measures that have been taken. What is that specific building doing with their daily waste? Hope they are not dumping it in the rivers, whether they are recycling it or not. Suppose plastic ban has come up. So they check whether plastics are being used or not. So they go ahead to also give recommendations as per their audit report. These things keep varying from project to project. Energy audits can basically be categorized into four broad types, that is benchmarking, investment grade audit, and energy audit, profitability through optimization of energy expenditure, productivity through optimization of equipment and process, and the performance that building is giving up with people who have started living. So whether they are following the safety norms or not. Embodied energy analysis is the sum of all energy that has been required to produce any goods or services that were considered as if that energy was incorporated or embodied in the product itself. Quickly, we will revise this last unit of our syllabus. The word scenario means views of the future. Sources of electricity in India, highest we get from coal, followed by hydro or water, followed by renewable sources of energy, natural gas, and minimum from nuclear. Nuclear radiations basically refer to the uh, emission of alpha, beta, and gamma rays. Alpha particles are the doubly ionized helium nucleus. Beta are the electrons and gamma are high energy rays. Nuclear fuel cycle consists of mining, milling, conversion, enrichment, fuel fabrication, and lastly, my electricity generation. Waste from nuclear fuel cycle is categorized as high, medium, or low level based on the amount of radiation that it is emitting. Nuclear proliferation means the spread of nuclear weapons, fissionable material, and weapons applicable to nuclear technology. Main causes of climatic change are human activity, burning of fossil fuel, converting land from forest into agriculture, increased insect outbreak, declining water supply, erosion in coastal areas. Energy storage is done by batteries, flywheels, compressed air, hydrogen, supercapacitors, superconductors, magnetic and electrical. Ways to save energy, more use of smart power strips to be done, purchase energy efficient device, reduce water heating expenses, install energy efficient windows. Green building is a building that is designed or constructed keeping in mind the preservation of climate and natural impact. LEAD means leadership in energy and environmental design. It is rated as platinum 80 plus, gold 60 to 79, silver 50 to 59, and LEAD certificate with between 40 to 49. Energy audit is an inspection survey and analysis of energy flows for energy conservation in a building. Thank you.